Zeus verveelde zich op zijn troon. Hij vond zijn perfect gecreëerde wereld... ...somewhat dull. Suddenly, he had a marvelous idea. Overcome with excitement, he transformed into an eagle... ...and soared down the mountain at breakneck speed. In the valley below lay his titan friend Prometheus, whom Zeus awoke with his thrilling revelation. He said, we shall create beings that resemble us closely, endowed with divine qualities such as consciousness, language and hands. Naturally a bit smaller and weaker, of course. Prometheus agreed, and together they brought these new beings to life. Zeus named them Anthropos, humans, and in this case, men. As the humans developed, Zeus began to worry. What if they ever surpassed the gods, rebelled and no longer worshipped them? Meanwhile, Prometheus adored his creations and passionately taught them how to survive. Zeus saw this and sternly warned him, whatever you do, you must never give them fire. But Prometheus simply couldn't deny his humans the gift of fire. He secretly stole it from Mount Olympus and bestowed it upon them. This led to an explosion of progress and innovation. New techniques were developed everywhere, such as creating farmland, heating homes and forging iron. When Zeus discovered the theft, he was furious. He devised a plan to punish humanity. He summoned all the gods and gathered their gifts, molding them into a new being. The first woman. Pandora. She was perfect, and Zeus sent her to the humans with a mysterious box. She must not look inside. Despite Zeus's warning, Pandora's curiosity got the better of her. In the dead of night, she opened the box. From the box escaped all forms of human suffering, spreading across the world like a dark cloud. Pain, sorrow, murder and jealousy. Now forever, were a part of humanity. Zeus was afraid of the divine fire that we now possessed. We didn't need the gods anymore. But the question remains, who were the gods to deny us fire in the first place? It was Zeus's punishment, no fire without its flip side. Artificial intelligence is currently spreading like fire amongst humanity, full of innovation, but also fraught with dangers. And will we grant artificial intelligence its own fire when the time comes? Het is nu aan ons om met deze grensverleggende techniek te leren omgaan.